Apparently, we all can grow our own food, so let's do it. It's now time for Check Me Out, our weekly showcase of Nigerians doing amazing things home and abroad. This week, we check out Dr. Olushola Ayola, founder and lead researcher at Robotics and Artificial Intelligence Nigeria. Ayola holds distinction at both his first and second degree and backed his doctorate in electrical engineering from the University of Manchester in the UK. Let's check him out. Hello, my name is Olushola Ayola and I'm a robotics engineer. Check me out. Growing up, I had always wanted to be a lawyer because I come from a family of lawyers. But then someone told my mom that, hey, he had a dream where I was wearing a stethoscope. So I probably would have to become a medical doctor. But no, I couldn't withstand all the scientific names, all the botanical names. It was just too, too much to cram. So I contacted another medical doctor and said, apart from medicine, is there something else I can study in science that people might reckon with me? And he said, engineering. I said, okay, which is the toughest engineering uh, course? He said, electrical, electronic engineering. And I said, okay, I will do that so that in the future, people will know that I actually went for something tough and I didn't just chicken out. And now I'm a doctor, but not a medical doctor, a robotics doctor. Well, I finished from UI and people were telling me, because you had the first class, continue with your masters. But then the government gave a kind of scholarship for masters in the UK and I went. Uh, so that took me out of the country. My experience in the UK was phenomenal in the sense that, you know, there are many areas you could be an expert in, but I found myself in the area of robotics for extreme environment. Uh, that means that I was able to support the UK's government in developing robotics solution for radioactive environments. I noticed at work that every time there is a robotics project, we send it to China for them to make, and then they send it back to us and then we correct all the mistakes and figure out the standards to, to make them comply with. And I, I said to myself, well, if I'm here in this company doing just this, how about they send these things to Nigeria instead of to China? But there was a gap, knowledge gap. We were training people to be engineers and so on with that practical knowledge. I decided to set up something like a technical college where people would learn deliberately physical, practical project. Then I thought and thought, then the name came up as RAI Nigeria, RAID. RAIN is here to fill a gap. You know, Africa needs to have our own China. How can we do that? It's the how that RAIN is bringing to the people. The knowledge in AI, data science, data collection, is a representation, machine learning, computer vision. We have a solution currently in use on transportation, traffic management. We have a solution um, currently in process of coming up. It's for a UK company. It's about energy management, you know. It's, it's awesome, you need to wait to see it. We've also got um, projects in the area of computer vision for the blind. In the area of security, we're also trying to advise the government on how they could deploy drones in a more intelligent and less expensive way. My name is Olushola Ayola, a robotics engineer, and you have just checked me out. Hats off, Ayola. Now to a quick reminder of our top story. We looked at the suspension of Twitter in Nigeria and its implications for business and democracy. And that's where we end today's episode of the program. Many thanks for watching. Don't forget you can check out more content from us at bbc.com forward slash Africa and channelstv.com. Until next time, I'm Ajake Hulawotse. Bye for now. <laughs>